Praise the Lord. Greetings in Jesus' name to all our beloved and distinguished viewers. Before we proceed to our topic for today, I'd like to first greet our friends and colleagues in the ministry, Bishop Nonato Tenefrancia, founding Bishop of House of Grace, Jesus Christ Ministries Incorporated, Pastor Ryan Valenzuela, Senior Pastor of the Way Iloilo City, Bishop Eman Figueroa, Senior Pastor of Life Chapel Malolos Bulacan, Bishop Oliver Galan, Senior Pastor of Life Redeemed Christian Church International, Bishop Roldan Domingo, and all our friends at Over the Edge Philippines OTEP family, Bishop Buddy Avarientos of Abundant Life Church, Fellowship International Incorporated of Arienda Napindan Kalawaan Pasig, and Bishop Bong Liemos of Jesus Christ, the Blessed Hope Church in Bagong Silangan, Quezon City, Metro Manila. I declare blessings on all of you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we get started, may I request your good heart to like, click subscribe, and the notification bell, and please share. Thanks a lot, and God bless. I'm your friend, Pastor Jess Valenzuela, and I'm going to share a basic but beautiful message from God to all of you today. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers around the world. I would like all the fathers to know that God loves you so much. He is our Heavenly Father, and the desire of His heart is that all of us will inherit His heavenly home. Amen. Our topic for today is, There's No Place like home there's no place like home amen there is a traditional saying which means what it says there is no place like home home is where you are happiest most at your ease and with the people you love our home should be the best place in the world as far as we are concerned home is where the heart is no matter where you roam there's no place like home the word home promotes security comfort warmth and safety there's no place like home means that there is no place that evokes such deep affection as the place that you identify as home. There is no place better for me than my home, no matter where it is or what it is. There's no place we'd rather be than being at home. There's no place like home. Amen. But the reality is this. There are also downsides to all our homes in this world. Amen. One downside is division. Division can be divided or a home can be divided by misunderstanding, by jealousy, by self-interest, by favoritism, divorce, and sometimes by the in-laws. Another downside to our homes in this world is separation. By the marriages of children, and then they will leave home and find their own homes, jobs abroad, migration, or even death, and many more. Another downside is dysfunctional family or home homes with problems 
Another downside is parenting issues. There are some uh, issues about parenting because many parents don't know how to really lead their children well. Another downside is pressure at work or school. Another one is unemployment, also financial problems, lack of food and nutrients, and other necessities. Another one is illness or disability of a family member. Even vices, drug addictions, and many more are downsides of our families, some of the families in this world. And another one is ignorance of parents to lead their homes knowledgeably and most of all, to lead their homes to salvation. We can still think of so many downsides that negatively affect homes in this world. In short, there's no perfect home in this world. Our desire for a perfectly peaceful, totally united, full of loyalty and love, abundant, and a worry-free home is only a reflection of what's coming. The eternally perfect home prepared by our Heavenly Father Himself. That desire for a perfect home is planted deep down in our hearts by God our Father. Amen. When our homes and families down here are undesirable and far from being perfect, look up and say, I have a coming perfect home in family which can never be destroyed nor can be divided by any sickness, wants, hatred, sin, the devil, and even death. Praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus told His disciples in John 14, 1-6. And let me read from the New Living Translation. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Let us expound the verses. One, God, our Heavenly Father, has a home with more than enough rooms for His children. Jesus said, there is more than enough room in my Father's home. And number two, the Lord Jesus is preparing rooms for all His people. He said, if this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? Number three, when everything is ready, Jesus said, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. The Bible is so clear. We shall reign with him in this world for a thousand years and then forever. Number four, the Lord Jesus' victory is our guarantee of possessing what he has promised. Jesus told him, Thomas, I am the way, the truth, 
and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. That means he is the answer. He is the only answer. Amen. Now, pag binasa natin ang Bible, makikita natin sa ating mga Bible, mga kapatid ko, that men of faith, like Abraham, are willing to leave everything behind, for this world does not really satisfy them, and they are looking for something that can really satisfy the deepest longing of their hearts, and that's the home prepared by God. We must be like them also. Amen. We must be willing to leave everything behind for the home prepared by God, an eternal, never-ending, perfect home and family. In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8 and then 10, verse 8 and 10, from the Amplified Bible, By faith, Abraham, when he was called by God, obeyed by going to a place which he was to receive as an inheritance, and he went not knowing where he was going. For he was waiting expectantly, verse 10, and confidently looking forward to the city, which has foundations, an eternal heavenly city whose architect and builder is God. God's people, ang mga tao ng Diyos, ang mga anak ng Diyos. God's people fully understand that this world is not their final home. Ganyan ang pananaw at ang pagkaalam ng mga anak ng Diyos. This world is not our final home, but we have one coming. Amen. Hebrews 11, 13 through 16 from the Amplified Bible. All these died in faith. Uh, the people of faith in chapter 11 of Hebrews. All these died in faith, guided and sustained by it or by faith without receiving the tangible fulfillment of God's promises, only having seen, anticipated them, and having welcomed them from a distance, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. Now those who say such things, make it clear that they are looking for a country of their own. 15. If they had been thinking of that country from which they departed as their true home, they would have had a continuing opportunity to return. Pwede silang bumalik sa kanilang pinanggalingang mga bayan kung talaga ang kanilang puso ay wala sa tahanang inihanda ng ating Ama sa Langit. 16. But the truth is that they were longing for a better country that is a heavenly one. For that reason, for that reason, dahil sa ang kanilang puso ay wala sa digdig na ito at ang kanilang puso ay nakatuon, sa tahanang inihanda ng ating Ama sa Langit. For that reason, God is not ashamed of them or not ashamed to be called their God, even to be surnamed their God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for He has prepared a city for them. Amen. So, hindi na hiyang Diyos tawagin siya ang Diyos ni Abraham, Diyos ni Isaac, Diyos ni Jacob. Ganun pala ang ating ama. Kapag ang ating puso pala ay nakatuon sa kanya at sa kanyang mga pangako, at yan ang ating pinakaasam-asam at inihintay na darating sa ating mga buhay, ay hindi pala ang Diyos 
nahihiyang tawagin tayong kanyang mga anak at hindi rin siya nahihiyang tawagin siya ang ating Diyos. So let's ask ourselves, can God be proud of us and would not be ashamed to be called our God? Can God say of us with righteous pride in His heart, I am the, the God of Jesus Valenzuela. I am the God of Elsie Valenzuela. I am the God of Bong Liemos. Hindi kaya mahihi ang Diyos na tawagin siyang Diyos natin. What do we think? But rest assured that when our hearts are fixed not on this world but on the world to come, He will be proud of us also. He will be proud to call us His children and He will be proud to be called our God. Amen. Now, tingnan natin ito. For sure, God is not proud of those wicked people who refuse to believe the warning of Noah before the flood, for he himself shut Noah and his family inside the ark, and he shut them out, though all of them cried for help, and many of them knocked on the ark's door when the rain started to pour down and the earth started to have cracks or fault lines and the subterranean waters with scorching lava started to gush out with a power of more than 10,000 or even more than 20,000 atomic bombs to the air that for a very short moment killed both men and animals and wiped them out from the face of the earth. Amen. For sure, hindi siya proud sa mga taong yun na hindi nakinig kay Noah. And God is not proud of the wicked and the lawless professing Christians who use His name and His word for their personal interests while practicing sins at the same time. Jesus warns of pretenders in Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Babasahin natin. Matthew chapter 7, 21 to 23 from the Passion Translation. Ganito po ang sabi ng ating Panginoon. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into kingdoms or heaven's kingdom. It is only those who persist in doing the will of my heavenly Father. On the day of judgment, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, don't you remember us? Didn't we prophesy or preach in your name? Didn't we cast out demons and do many miracles in your name? But I will have to say to them, Go away from me, you lawless rebels. I've never been joined to you. The Aramaic can be translated from everlasting, I have not known you. Yan ang masaklap mga kapatid ko at mga kaibigan na tayo ay gumagamit ng pangalan ng ating panon halimbawa. Ngunit ang ating puso ay hindi naman talaga sentro at nakatoon at nakafocus sa kanyang kaharian at sa kanyang kalooban kung hindi sa ating mga personal na mga gain at personal na interest. Mga kapatid, pagdating ang araw ng paghukom ay itatatuwa, ikapagkakaila tayo ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Dahil yung pusong uh, nakasentro at nakafocus lamang sa kanya at sa kanyang mga promises Yan po ang mga taong hindi ikinahihiya ng Ama na maging kasama niya sa kanyang kaharian. And certainly, all slaves to sin will not inherit God's home unless they sincerely repent and become God's children. That's the only way to inherit an entrance to 
and everlasting stay in God's home. Let me read John 8, 31 to 36 from the expanded Bible. 31, so Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, if you continue to obey my teaching, remain, abide in my word, you are truly my followers or disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will make or set you free. They answered, we are Abraham's children, descendants, seed of Abraham, and we have never been anyone's slaves. So why do you say we will be free? Jesus answered them, I tell you the truth. Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who lives in sin commits, practices sin, is a slave to sin. A slave does not stay with a family, live in the household forever, but a son belongs to the family, lives in the household forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be truly free, free indeed. Amen. So ang mga slaves, ang mga alipin ng kasalanan, yung hindi tumitigil sa paggawa ng kasalanan, na alipin ng kasalanan, ay wala pong karapatan sa tahanan ng Diyos. Maliban na lamang kung sila ay magsisi ng totoo. Amen. At sundin ang mga salita ng Panginoong Diyos at gawin ang kanyang kalooban. Doon lamang maging welcome silang magmana ng tahanan ng Diyos. Now, how would the Son, Jesus Christ, make us God's children and free us from the slavery of sin? The answer is, be born from above or be born again. In John 1.10, 2.13 from the New King James Version, he was in the world, Jesus Christ, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God second birth yan dahil ang Diyos ang nanganak now in 1st Peter paano tayo born again 1st Peter 1 23 to 25 ganito po ang sabi ni Peter's Amplified Bible 1 23 to 25 for you have been born again that is, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for His purpose. Not of seed, which is perishable, but from that which is imperishable and immortal, that is, that is through the living and everlasting Word of God. So, on um, Ang, uh, ang binhi pala ng Diyos na spiritual upang tayo may panganak sa karian ay ang salita ng Diyos. For all flesh is like grass and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls off but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word, the good news of salvation which was preached to you. Now, let me read to you the description of John, the beloved, of our eternal home. Although, John could not exhaustively describe our eternal home. So, in, in his own limited mind, a description, John wrote, Revelation 21, 1-7, from the easy-to-read version. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared. Now there was no sea. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. Ito ang ating tahanang walang hanggan. 
it was prepared like a bride dressed for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, Now God's home is with people. He will live with them. They will be His people. God Himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, sadness, crying, or pain. All the old ways are gone. So ito na yung ating perfect na tahanan na walang hanggan, mga kapatid ko at mga kaibigan. Verse 5, The one who was sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this, because these words are true and can be trusted. The one on the throne said to me, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give free water from the spring of the water of life to anyone who is thirsty. All those who win, he that overcomes, all those who win the victory will receive all this. And I will be their God and they will be my children. There's no place like the home that God has prepared for all who would wholeheartedly serve Him. Your earthly life, our earthly life is short. And we can't boast of tomorrow. Kaya nga mag-decide na tayo ngayon. God is telling us right now to put our heart and focus on His eternal home to obey his eternal will james wrote amen in james 4 13 to uh, 13 4 13 to 14 look here you who say today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year we will do business there and make a profit 14 how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow Ang ibig niya sabihin, alam mo ba kung anong mangyayari sa buhay mo bukas? Your life is like the morning fog, parang singaw. It's here a little while, then it's gone. Amen. So, tandaan natin mga kapatid, ang buhay natin sa mundong ito ay napakaiksi. Ang lahat ng bagay na nasa atin ay mawawala, mapaparam, magiging abo, at magiging wala. Pero ang ibinibigay ng Diyos, ang promise ng Panginoon at ang kanyang ibibigay sa atin, ay walang hanggan. Kaya ngayon, mag-decide tayo ngayong oras na ito. Would you all join with me in prayer? Let us all humble ourselves before Him right now. He wants us all to be saved because He loves us so deeply. Let's all come to Him. Hallelujah. Amang banal, sa oras na ito, Ama, dalangin po namin. Hallelujah. Ang aming mga kaluluwa. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa iyong mga salita. Salamat na kami ay mahal na mahal mo. Salamat po sa iyong katotohanan, sa iyong gospel. Salamat po sa iyong biyaya at pag-ibig. Salamat ng desire ng iyong heart ay ang iligtas kami at magmana kami ng buhay na walang hanggan sa piling mo sa iyong tahanang walang hanggan Ama, ang bawat kaluluwang nais maligtas ilig mo po ang kanilang mga paa sa pagsisisi at tulungan mo po sila dalhin sa buhay na walang hanggan maraming maraming salamat po Amang banal sa oras nito sa iyong kapurihan. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Kung meron po kayong katanungan, mag-message lang po kayo sa akin at uh, sa tulong ng Panginoon, sasagutin po natin ang inyong mga katanungan. Again, I'm your friend, Pastor Valenzuela, Pastor Jess Valenzuela. God bless everyone in Jesus' name.